Perfect? Bang on my chest if you think I'm perfect. Go ahead, bang on it. No heart? You gotta have heart. Miles and miles of heart. This is Patchwork Heart Ministries Young Catholics Respond, brought to you by Breadbox Media. Now, here's your host, Bill Snyder. Thanks so much, Adam, and welcome to the program, everybody. I am Bill Snyder. This is Young Catholics Respond. And uh, just want to remind you all that you can head over to our website, patchworkheart.org, to check out the many things that we have uh, going on in our ministry. Uh, Lots and lots of things growing and uh, continuing to expand. So please go over to our website and check it out. Uh, We've got uh, lots of resources there for you, uh, books, booklets, uh, and CDs, and all kinds of uh, exciting things for you to be able to grow in your faith, especially as, uh, I hate to say, Lent uh, is rapidly approaching. I can't believe that we just uh, finished up the Christmas season. We're on our way toward Lent, or as my dad would say, he would say, Ad Lent um, is here. Um, so I don't know what that means, but anyway, um, we are we are uh, going strong at Patchwork Heart Ministry, and there's so much more than just our podcast. So check it out over at patchworkheart.org. Um, on today's program, I'm blessed to be joined by Kent Koholsky, and he is the founder of the Fiat Ministry Network, uh, which is a, a wonderful network uh, of different uh, shows and masses uh, live and recorded both and it's absolutely awesome it's been in existence for about 10 years and uh he uh encourages all to say yes to jesus christ through the uh ministry network and you know, the fiat ministry network and uh he is married he has uh, to his wife sarah he has three beautiful kids and they live outside of cleveland so uh Kent, welcome to the program and thank you so very much for uh being here on young catholics respond today Thanks, Bill. Thanks for having me. It's an honor. Yeah, so I, I, I want to talk with you a little bit about your uh, faith journey because, you know, one does not just start a, uh, you know, religious TV network without having a faith background. It just doesn't happen, right? So yeah. um, talk with us a little bit about um, your faith journey and, and what happened in your life to help you begin to encourage all those people to say yes to Jesus. Well, uh, kind of— two sides, uh, the technology and the faith. Um, uh, first off, the faith part, um, uh, it took me, uh, you know, I, I uh, usually uh, say there's a, um, a time in everybody's life that things kind of click. And uh, after college, uh, I was trying to figure out what to do and, and uh, you know, meeting people, the right-minded people that I wanted to, you know, really – you know, be in a community with and talk to and have some kind of a, a faith journey. Uh, I, I didn't know um, for probably uh, 15 years, kind of in my uh, high school days and, you know, prior to that, uh, I, I kind of went away from the church and uh, didn't really care about the church. But then um, I actually met some friends. They were Protestant, but there was uh, actually some people that were actually Catholic that I kind of started to talk to, but we, uh, uh we kind of kid around. I, I, I call it the uh, last supper at Perkins and everybody was gathering around and going verses. And it was just like blowing my mind, just b- biblical scriptures, just one after another. And so I kind of like, okay, they, they they have something and I, I, I kind of I'm curious about that in the sense of what is that all about how why are they so passionate um, and and so I kind of then uh, met new people uh, new Catholics uh, uh, I, I met a a man that was a uh, he was in the seminary uh, and now is a priest and uh, we would go to different like Applebee's and just go out and talk and and pray the rosary um, at a local uh, college in uh, Erie, Pennsylvania. And uh, we would just, you know, go back and forth for a couple years of you got to make this retreat. It's a four or three day retreat that you have to make. And I'm like, all right, I'll try because it starts on a Friday and work. And do I really want to take that commitment of doing that? And so 
I finally did. And about two hours into the retreat, I said, okay, I got to, I, I, I just don't feel comfortable doing it. And, um, you know, I just don't feel right. Um, it, it's called encounter, uh, encounter, uh, Christ. Um, uh, it's, it's in the, uh, Erie diocese that now there's a different uh, name uh, for it, but, um, uh, at that point, that's what it was called. And so I, um, I I said I said okay I'll I'll give uh give in and try it and it changed my life uh in the sense of faith because I was hearing all these testimonies of you know faith journeys and why they're there and you know what changed in their lives and so I'm like getting that in my head and then the other part of it was the technology. I love radio. Like I know you love radio and yes. uh, <laughs> audio. Um, so I started to listen to Catholic radio, and there was a Catholic radio station uh, right on the border of uh, PA and Ohio that I just started to listen to and, and just loved. And um, they, they've changed now, but uh, – uh, back then, I would go and drive. I actually took my, at that point, uh, girlfriend um, and now w my wife over and we would talk on the radio. Uh, and uh, it was just a great opportunity just to learn a little bit about the, you know, the faith, but then kind of the technical side of things. So then um, fast forwarding a little bit, um, I, I like the technology of audio, but it was so expensive to do anything back then. And uh, anything with video was very expensive yeah. to do. Uh, audio was okay. And so I, 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 I was interested, but, um, you know, I, I was just trying to figure out how do I get this combined, like giving out testimonies of faith, of the Catholic faith, teaching about the Catholic faith, and uh, a buddy of mine that is a minister, uh, uh, he worked in ministry over in uh, in Pennsylvania. Um, we were talking one night, and he said, uh, "Why don't you, you know, I, I know you're because at that point I was, you know, bouncing from Ohio and and uh, uh, Pennsylvania because of my uh, my girlfriend slash now wife. Um, so we were bouncing back and forth, and I was working in ministry a little bit and trying to figure out a ministry name for a group, uh, 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 basically a youth group." And he, he said, why don't you call it Fiat? Because saying yes, you know, uh, our ladies, you know, Fiat. And right. I never, I, I, I thought about it and I'm like, okay, can I take that with, a, I'm, I'm going to borrow that. So I started Fiat, but then I kind of transferred it over to um, maybe I could do this in a more on a online basis. So, you know, going down to, you know, probably, uh, 2000, 2010, um, I, uh, said, okay, we can do this using like, you know, Skype and using different technologies because there was people online that I was watching and I'm like, okay, they're doing it. It's a little bit out of my budget, but with a little webcam and, and, and some audio like Skype, I can put a, you know, I can make a little bit of a, you know, kind of a video. And at that point, you know, streaming online, uh, bandwidth and all this stuff that kind of, it's a techie side of things, uh, was, you know, getting in my head. So I'm like trying to bring it together. And then the technology came around, people were coming around. This is the new thing. You know, you got the social media platforms and I'm like, okay, I, I, I think I'm going to try this uh, for a long uh, scourge of trying to just build myself. Um, we're small. Uh, we're still a small ministry, uh, speaking of, you know, some of the other ones. But uh, encouraging all to say uh, yes to Jesus Christ is a big thing for me. And also one soul at a time. It's sometimes uh, one soul at a time for us is more valuable than you know, a huge audience sometimes. And I, I understand uh, sometimes that's, you know, ever, you know, trying to figure that part out. But one soul at a time is our kind of our motto right now with Fiat. Yeah, you know, absolutely. And, you know, in, 
in your journey, it's so intertwined with, you know, the media aspect of things because, uh, you know, it's your passion and you enjoy uh, doing doing media and, and and Catholic radio. And, and it's such a beautiful thing that you've uh, developed this this beautiful network. Um, you know, I I I just want to, you know, let listeners know that. Uh, the website is uh, fiatministrynetwork.tv. And if you head over to fiatministrynetwork.tv, or of course you can search that uh, Fiat, Fiat Ministry Network on YouTube as well. There's a whole uh, bunch of things there. But you will find uh, amazing, amazing uh, shows, and you'll find uh, so, some really great uh just you know masses and stuff. I know that uh, one of the ways that I connected with you uh, was was working with uh, <laughs> Fiat to film a mass out here in Milwaukee um, mm-hmm. for for the uh, it, it, it was an Advent series of the Latin High Masses and and so uh, you know that or the I should say the extraordinary form <laughs> of the mass um, right you know not uh, not the use the slang term Latin High Mass but. Mm-hmm. Um, the extraordinary form of the mass. So you you see so many different um, you know aspects of the faith. You have uh, uh, some really great shows. Of course, you have you know your show, the Fiat Ministry Show. Uh, you have uh, No Soul Left Behind, uh, uh, Faith Life Family, uh, Hungry for More, Food, uh, Faith Food and Family. I mean, you've got so many great shows that are lined up for people that can just go on and watch these uh, watch these programs, right? I mean, you know. These are different Catholic evangelists, different uh, people that have uh, dedicated their ministry, their life to evangelizing and, you know, bringing people in and, and sharing stories. Uh, that's the other thing that you mentioned, you know, uh, witnesses or testimonies are such a big thing, right? Testimonies, yeah. um, you know, have the power to change hearts and minds and souls. You know, I, I was uh, talking with, and I'll give a short uh, shout out to uh, their ministry uh, down in Dallas, uh, but uh, both um, Tori, Tori Harris and Brian Gray, I was talking with them uh, several years ago, and, um, you know, Brian said something very insightful on, on the podcast of the episode of the radio show that I was doing with him. He said, you know, your personal testimony of Jesus Christ is the only thing that they cannot argue with you about. <laughs> Yeah. You know, you know, because because when somebody says to you, you know, well, you, you can argue over, you know, which way scripture, much like you were talking about, you know, your uh, your last supper at Perkins. Right. People are throwing out mm-hmm. Bible scriptures and you're saying, oh, I like this and I don't like that. And I like this. And, you know, that's all great. You know, we have the magisterium of the church. It helps guide guide us and 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 keeps us true to the truth. But um, when it comes to your personal testimony, you know, there's very little people can argue with you about, right? I mean, what did Jesus do in your life? And uh, because when, you know, when you say that, they're like, um, well, that, that didn't happen. And then you go, yes, it did. I mean, you know, that's, there's, there's yeah. no other, there's no other argument. So it's such a beautiful thing when you talk about one soul too, right? Bringing yeah. one soul in at a time. It's not about, you know, being the biggest or the largest or whatever. You know that the Holy Spirit, you know that uh, God is, uh, working through the ministry uh, to to touch the souls that are meant to be touched, and uh, that is a beautiful thing, especially when you stay uh, true to the faith, true to uh, you know uh, what you're what you're providing people. So uh, I, I have to take that short break here, Kent. And on the other mm-hmm. side, I want to continue talking with you about uh, some of these shows and, and whatnot as well, because I think it's so important to. Uh, you know, maybe highlight some of these different shows and highlight uh, what what you're doing, and then tell people how they can get in touch with you, uh, because okay. it, because it is just a, a great great uh, ministry out there. So, right back after these messages here on Young Catholics Respond, I'm Bill Snyder. Today, my guest is Kent Kolheski. Patchwork Heart Ministry is committed to sowing hope into broken hearts by helping young people encounter the love of Jesus Christ and His Catholic Church through prayer, storytelling, and media initiatives. We invite you to prayerfully consider supporting this mission financially. Mail your tax-deductible donation to Patchwork Heart Ministry at P.O. Box 563 Lake Geneva, Wisconsin, zip code 53147. Or visit patchworkheart.org to donate online. That's Patchwork Heart Ministry, P.O. Box 563, Lake Geneva, Wisconsin, 53147, or online at patchworkheart.org. 
Please join Arise Milwaukee for special prayer and worship events on Friday, March 13th and Saturday, March 14th at Carroll University in Waukesha. All ages are welcome at the Arise Milwaukee Worship Night on Friday from 7 to 8.30 p.m. Join us for adoration, prayer, encouraging messages, and worship. Free child care will be offered and no registration is required. On Saturday, middle and high school students gather for the 15th annual Wisconsin Catholic Youth Rally. Together in fellowship, they'll hear relevant and encouraging talks, be led in prayerful worship, and have the opportunities to receive the Sacrament of Reconciliation and attend Mass. Please join us for these special Arise Milwaukee events featuring conference speakers Nick Frank and Lauren Wright and worship led by the Josh Blakesley Band. You'll hear who Jesus is, be invited to consider your need for Him, and encounter Him in the Blessed Sacrament. We look forward to praying with you at Carroll University on March 13th and 14th. To learn more and to register for the Saturday Youth Event, please visit arisemke.org. The St. Raymond Nonatus Foundation for Freedom, Family, and Faith offers prayerful accompaniment for those who are affected by divorce and separation. We offer free online support meetings for those affected by divorce and for adult children of divorce. You can learn more about us at nonatus.org. That's N-O-N-N-A-T-U-S dot org. Text or call 215-870-9913. Our Blessed Mother wants only the best for her children and has given us a special place where she promises to help all those who appeal to her motherly love and protection. Telling Saint Juan Diego that here I will alleviate the sufferings of all those who love me and seek my protection. That holy place is now the site of the beautiful Shrine of Our Lady of Guadalupe in Mexico City. If you would like to learn more about how you can visit this special place of grace, please visit vivaguadalupe.org for more information. Our Lady may be calling you now. Your heart is always beating, but you never have to think about it. Welcome back to Young Catholics Respond. Once again, Bill Snyder. Welcome back, everybody, to this episode of Young Catholics Respond. I am Bill Snyder. Uh, Today, my guest is Kent Kolheski, and uh, we're talking with him about uh, his ministry, which is uh, amazing, and his faith journey, of course, and the two are always intertwined, <laughs> no matter how mm-hmm. much you uh, try to uh, separate them, your ministry and your faith journeys are always intertwined. Um, but uh, Fiat Ministry Network is the name of his ministry, and um, also uh, his his media outlet, uh, so it is fiatministrynetwork.tv. Uh, If you head over to that website, it'll uh, show you uh, a bevy of amazing, amazing shows uh, and all Catholic shows that you can um, connect with and and, you know, pass on to other people. Uh, It's just phenomenal. So let's uh, let's talk a little bit of a little bit about it, Kent. I know there's so many different uh, shows out there that and and people that you've connected with over the years. Yeah. Uh, But but tell me tell me which one is your favorite show on 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 the network. Well, of course it would be mine, but I'm not. I, I'm. I am made for the production side of things, but I had to start out somehow, so I started my show. Uh, but um, my uh, my dear friend Missy DeConti, uh, we probably met uh, about almost three or four years ago. Uh, basically online she was selling uh, some items and um, uh, it's faithlifefamilywear.com I'm going to plug her because I support her uh, to the nth degree Uh, but she uh, said maybe I'll start doing a show and so she she loves the, the traditional Latin mass and she really taught me a lot about that because I was not you know from as familiar with it. So she really brought me into that and, uh, looking for these great shows that she was teaching, um, different, uh, ways of, you know, what right and wrong in the mass and, and bringing in some great guests and, um, you know, just, uh, I mean, her last one that she did, um, was with, uh, father, uh, 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 
Callaway. I'm trying yeah, to Don Callaway, too many, yeah. too many uh, fathers out there. But Father uh, Don Callaway and uh, with his new book and and but she had a immense amount of uh, shows. Um, I I will shout out uh, Al Smith. Uh, he's now uh, wrote two. Uh, has uh, he's written. Um, two books on Bishop Fulton Sheen. Uh, so hungry for more. We did about 50 plus uh, episodes with him, uh, bringing in different guests. And um, uh, it, it's, it's great to have. That's one thing I've learned about doing Fiat is all the, con- you know, connecting with people and these new, you know, these people that uh, I just, you know, would never have talked to, if I didn't start uh, Fiat and the other thing is I've learned more about my faith in these t- last 10 years than I could ever go back, uh, you know, twiddling my thumbs and, uh, you know, CCD religion class back when I really didn't care. Um, I've, I've really, you know, grown in my faith, just listening to these great people that have been on Fiat. Yeah, it's amazing. Um, I, you know, I, I had somebody, uh, you know, tell me actually uh, one, one of my good, good friends, uh, Bear Wozniak. He always says on there, um, he has a show, uh, Long Ride Home, on EWTN, and then he also has the other one, Bear Wozniak Adventure, um, on EWTN too, and uh, or do EWTN Radio. And he always says, you know, most people don't talk to me until you have a radio show. Um, <laughs> and, you know, and and it's a truth, right? You get to have all these amazing guests. Uh, you get to have all these amazing people on your show that wouldn't even bother talking to you, wouldn't give you the time of day. You're like, uh, until you say, hey, would you like to do an interview on my radio program? Yeah. Um, and 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 there's something, a blessing about that, because as, as you do that, we engage and we uh, get to learn our faith in a deeper way. I mean, I've learned, you know, more about my faith in just talking with you and, and, and our journeys and talking about testimonies and how powerful they are. I mean, each and every episode, you, you end up learning something. Uh, mm-hmm. from somebody, from, from each of your guests and, you know, the, the, the conversation before and after, uh, and some of the amazing relationships that you build with people, uh, developing a show with them or talking with them about working with them. Uh, it, it's amazing how the Holy Spirit truly connects people. I think, uh, yeah. it, it, it really is amazing. And so, uh, I, the, the one that caught my eye, just looking at all these different shows that you have, um, you know, is the, uh, one of them is, is faith, food and family. Uh, yeah. that one. And, uh, you know, where you guys are, do you guys do recipes on that? Is that something that is a recipe? That I see we, like- yeah, we started doing that. And, uh, the, uh, to the couple that did the show, um, uh, actually, uh, the husband is now the mayor of a small, uh, town in, um, uh, Ohio. And so he, he still supports Fiat and I, yeah, we, we loved that. Uh, the idea of, of the show we did, you know, probably around a dozen shows or so. And it was a great opportunity to bring kind of the faith. And in and you know an idea of a recipe or a food, um, so yeah, we we were hoping to maybe build up on and uh, now, Bill, that you're mentioning, I'm gonna give them a call and try to get them back on. So uh, we'll uh, we're always trying to improve and bring on new shows and new ideas. I I, I really appreciate um, another friend of mine, uh, Jennifer Sinclair, and uh, a shout out to. Uh, his, uh, her um, uh, son Kyle, uh, just a huge support. With uh, Kyle is just uh, uh, in bed rest, uh, you know, and uh, he she takes care of him and also does some of the live masses and streams simulcast that we get permission from. Uh, there's other things that we've been doing. Uh, the mo- the most pro life president uh, with uh, President Trump. Uh, you know, promoting, you know, his, uh, you know, the rallies and just sharing a, a man that is a very pro-life president. That's what we uh, really love to do. So um, there's a lot that we're trying to build. Uh, we're also trying to produce, you know, other people's uh, shows that are interested in doing. Uh, we just kind of started fiat uh, media tv.com uh but you can definitely it, it's under construction but uh it, it's just kent at 
fiatmediatv.com is where you can email if you uh, would like to have any kind of videos uh, because we're, we're we make it as pr professional as we can with the technology that is out there right now uh, we're trying to make it as professional as we can and touch hearts also and souls as yeah. we uh, continue to uh, grow the ministry and uh you know wander into other opportunities of projects of ministry or any other uh opportunities of video production yeah absolutely you know one of the things that you talk about uh it, it is is having you know professional video and 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 producing professional video i i uh i i want to uh you know remind people that uh you know that is so important but the other you know that to have a professional video but you know the other thing too is if you uh are listening to this and you are a pastor of a of a catholic church especially that that embraces the technology to be able to broadcast your masses there's there's many uh pastors out there that do that or or, or maybe you want to um have a mass filmed at your at your parish i mean maybe you think that mass would be a um you know uh it, it, a beautiful thing to have filmed you know you have a unique choir you have uh a, a, a extraordinary form mass that you know whatever reach out to you right reach out to you kent and and, and yes. talk with you about it because um you know that's it it's a great way to be able to promote your parish uh but it's also a great way to evangelize i mean you know there's so many blessings each individual parish uh you know has a unique charism about it and mm -hmm. if you're open to it um you know i i I know how uh, amazing uh, it is to be able to watch something like that on your yeah. network and and touch people beyond just the borders of your parish. I mean, I mean, I was filming the one for you guys um, here in Milwaukee, you know, and yeah. and it was touching uh, you know hearts and souls around the world. So um, no matter where you are, uh, in, you know, in the country, just reach out because I because I know that uh, you would love to bring that to your audience. Um, you know, sure. or whatever. So yeah, definitely do that. Um, I, I, I want to talk with you. So you've got, uh, the websites, you've got, uh, many different ways to continue, uh, keeping this, uh, you know, growing and, and going. Um, and, uh, and so, so I want to thank you so much for, for, for your time and, and for being here because it's, it's amazing, Kent, what you're doing. And, um, I, and of course, you know, encourage people to reach out, donate. Uh, you guys got a store on there as well. You got a beautiful store, uh, with a lot of, with a lot of nice items there too. Right. Yeah. 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 We, uh, we try to, you know, uh, we, we have other things that we're trying to, uh, get on. Um, but yeah, we, we have, uh, a, a small snore uh, if you want to support us uh, in any ways prayers are number one but uh if if you like what we're doing please support us in, in a financial way if that's possible uh, we do ha have you know paypal and other ways of support um and i i just want to say uh thank you bill for uh, the opportunity of my first interview uh doing this i really appreciate uh, your time and you know getting to know you um off you know off of the uh, show and also just uh, talking to you tonight uh it's been a true honor and uh thank you for your your time and uh being the first uh, uh host to, <laughs> to, <laughs> yeah going um, the other way is always fun isn't it yeah, yeah. <laughs> going the other way is always fun when you do it for the first time so i appreciate yeah. you coming on uh again i want to remind everybody uh the website because i don't want you to miss it uh it is fiatministrynetwork.tv. Uh, it very simply the email Kent at fiatministrynetwork.tv as well. Uh, great way to be able to uh, reach out uh, to to Kent and support this mission and, and just log on and start watching shows, folks. Uh, that's the best way to do it. Log on, start watching shows, uh, and and get engaged with the ministry. Maybe you got an idea for a show, or maybe you got something that you want to uh, present uh, to Kent, and uh, he's certainly open to it. So. Thank you again so much, Ken. It's been a pleasure talking to you. It won't be the uh, last time we have you on the program. Thanks so much. Thank you very much, Bill. All right. Well, everybody, this has been an episode of Young Catholics Respond. Until next time, from all of us here at Patchwork Heart Ministry, I'm Bill Snyder. Keep beating to your Catholic heart. You've been listening to Young Catholics Respond, a radio initiative of Patchwork Heart Ministry. To learn more about our ministry and program, visit us at patchworkheart.org. 
or to get exclusive access and early ministry updates, become our patron on Patreon by searching for Patchwork Heart Ministry.